Welcome to the Home Health Virtual Training Program, Part 1. I'm Lisa Newton, and I'll be presenting the Capstone Case Study. I'm a registered nurse with experience in direct patient care, nursing administration, and clinical education in the acute and post-acute care settings. Currently, I'm a senior staff associate at Econometrica in Bethesda, Maryland. Let's begin with an understanding of the primary learning objective for the capstone case study, which is to apply the knowledge that you acquire during your review of the presentations in part one of the Home Health Virtual Training Program to accurately code a clinical case study using select OASIS E items. The framework for the capstone case study activity has two components. Part one is an independent self-study. It involves reading a home health clinical scenario and coding select OASIS E items. Part two will be a discussion of the correct coding responses and rationale during the virtual live coding workshop in September, 2022. This presentation provides instructions on how to complete part one and prepare for the coding workshop. Let's briefly review the clinical scenario that you'll be coding. The patient, Mr. P, is a 68-year-old African-American Filipino male admitted to an acute care hospital on June 2nd, 2022, after a fall. His acute care admission diagnoses include fall without injury, embolic cerebral infarction, dysphagia, and right-sided weakness. Mr. P was discharged to home on June 9, 2022. A home health agency referral was made for the following services. Medication teaching and management, anticoagulation instruction and monitoring, assessment of the need for supplemental oxygen, pain management, diet instruction, and physical, speech, and occupational therapy. Now let's review the instructions for completing part one of the case study activity. The first step is to download, and you can also print, the documents that are provided for this activity from the training platform. These documents are the home health case study narrative and the home health case study coding response sheet. Read the case study narrative, which is a home health clinical scenario, and then code the subset of OASIS E start of care or SOC and discharge items identified for Mr. P and record your answers on the case study coding response sheet. Bring these two documents to the virtual live coding workshop in September, 2022. This is the subset of SOC assessment items you'll be coding for Mr. P. The items include social determinants of health, hearing and vision, the pain interview, nutritional approaches, high risk drug classes, and special treatments, procedures, and programs. And this is the subset of discharge assessment items you'll be coding. As you can see, most of these items were also coded at SOC. In addition, the discharge assessment also includes the transfer of health items, A2123 and A2124. As you are reviewing the clinical scenario and coding the capstone case study, there are several other resources you can use for assistance in addition to the case study narrative. For example, you can refer to other presentations in the Home Health Virtual Training Program Part 1 for information to support coding of the various items in the case study. And for additional content, please refer to the OASIS E guidance manual for coding instructions and tips. Finally, bring your case study narrative and the completed coding response sheet to the live virtual coding workshop in September. We'll debrief and provide a review of the correct coding and rationale for the subset of SOC and discharge items that were coded for the clinical scenario. If you have any questions about the capstone case study or completing this activity, please submit them to packtraining at econometricainc.com 
by August 31st, 2022. As a reminder, a practice coding workshop will be held in September and we encourage you to attend. Select questions will be answered in a Q&A session during the September 2022 virtual live event. Thank you for reviewing this presentation and we look forward to your attendance at the coding workshop.